Hi there. Now for the last part of this question, we're told that a biscuit is selected at random and given that the biscuit is broken, find the probability that it was not made by machine K. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. And by the way, I've just put in the answers to part B and part C that we worked out earlier. So, okay, if you'd like to have a go at that, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then, if you had a go. Now, we need to write an intro here, and that intro would be the probability that it's not made by machine K, so that's going to be K prime, okay, not made by machine K, given that the biscuit is broken. So we've got given that the biscuit is broken. And you should be familiar with this concept of conditional probability. What we have for this kind of thing is often given in the formula sheet as the probability of A given B. And it's the probability then of A and B, if that's the case, all divided by the probability of B. I like to think of this as always the probability of both events occurring divided by the probability of the given event. So in other words, it's the probability of both events occurring, that's not machine K, and the B biscuits are broken, okay? And then it's always divided by the probability of the given event. So this is the probability of B. And if you've stuck to what I've said before about the notation, this should be fairly straightforward. Because if it's not from K and the biscuits are broken, then it must be that we're looking for the probability it came from machine J and the biscuits were broken or mutually exclusive. So we add that it could have come from machine L and the biscuits were broken. And all of this would be divided by the probability of a broken biscuit. And we worked out these probabilities earlier. We worked these out for the probability that a biscuit is broken in part C. So for J and B, J and B, it was 0.25 times 0 0.02. So just put that in, 0 0.25 times 0 0.02. And then plus, for the probability it came from L and was broken, it's going to be 0 0.3 times 0 0.05. So 0 0.3 times 0.05. And all of this is divided then by the probability that the biscuit is broken, which we worked out in part C as the probability of B. So that was 0 0.0335. So if you work this out on your calculator, you should find it comes to 0.5970 and so on. So if rounding that up to three significant figures is going to be 0 0.597 to 3SF. Or as an exact fraction, that is 40 67ths. Okay, so I hope that's uh, been of some use to you.